How to improve egg quality is probably the most frequently asked question I get by far. And it's such an important topic because if you've been to your doctor and you've had procedures or situations or you've been trying to conceive for a while and it's not working, it's very likely that you have been told that your eggs are no good or that your egg quality needs to you know, be improved or that your egg quality is not as good as it should be. Now, that upsets me, I have to admit. Um, it upsets me quite a lot because what happens is that for the majority of women who have issues with IVF failing or um, you know conception not happening in the way that it needs to. Egg quality may be a part to play in the whole equation but it is not the only thing. In fact one of the things that we talk about throughout the 14 day fertility challenge is this concept of minor factors. You know this is very much a, um, a, a, a scientific approach to understanding what are the things that can be impacting fertility and the, the statistical uh, numbers around minor factors is huge. You know, like a couple at peak fertility has an, an average of three months time to pregnancy. You add three minor factors to the equation and all of a sudden, and the minor factor can be anything from, you know, um, let's say the egg is not working as well as it could be, but then you've got sperm motility is not as healthy as it could be or not as, as, as fast as it could be and or you know you've got a hormonal imbalance or a nutritional deficiency all of those things can be minor factors right and, and three minor factors is enough to give us an average of 40 years time to pregnancy so what happens is that when you have multiple minor factors from a male perspective and a female perspective combined you are going to have multiple things that are going to be impacting the ability of a couple to conceive and carry a healthy pregnancy to term. It is not going to be just to do with egg quality. And there are many things you can do to improve egg quality, including improving your health, improving your lifestyle, nutritional supplementation, the right types of nutrients can make a huge difference. This is where you really need to see a specialist practitioner in this field to be able to actually help you and guide you, right? Because supplementation is a very personalized situation. Even though you might have egg quality that needs to be improved, um, the way that that gets done for one person may be completely different to how that gets done for another person because of the different things that could be impacting their egg quality. So the way in which you can immediately improve your egg quality is to do the things that you already know that you would do if you were pregnant right now. So if you're pregnant right now and you ask yourself, okay, what would I do to improve my fertility, or sorry, to improve the health of my child, my baby, then those are the things that you would do to improve your fertility. So if you would sleep um, have better rest at night and sleep better, if you were to have a better diet, if you were to exercise more, if you were to take nutrients, all of those things are things that you need to begin doing way before you even think of starting trying to conceive. A minimum of 120 days is what it takes for the egg to mature and the sperm to form. So that is absolutely going to be the minimum amount of time that you need to give your body to improve egg quality and there are things that you can do to improve egg quality all of these things that I'm talking about and more the one thing that you will not be able to improve necessarily in fact you will not be able to improve in today in the in the level of scientific development that we have is the amount your the, the number of eggs that you have your ovarian reserve but you will absolutely be able to improve your egg quality so just do your very best be the healthiest you can be and you will be far and away much further forward than you perhaps are right now. So I hope that helps and until next time, bye for now.